guys, we're supposed to have some weather coming in and a project that I've been kind of putting off for a while is making a cover or a lid for our goat feeder. Now for a while we just had a tarp over it, which worked for the time being, it kept the rain out, but it's really not doing an efficient job at keeping the rain out because sometimes it'll fill up, you know, it'll bow. Even if I put a stick in the middle, it'll still fill up with water and the hay will get wet and I have to waste hay and throw it away. And it's just, it's not cool. Now that works out fine when it's like, you know, a day of rain or an afternoon of rain, or something like that. But we're expecting a few days of rain from what I understand. So I need to get a lid on this thing right away. Quickest thing I can think of is I have um, one piece of a strapping left over from the roof of our chicken coop. I've just, it's an eight foot piece. I just marked it in 24 in sections. And I'm gonna make four pieces that are gonna be basically a top and a bottom that I'm gonna hinge at the end. So basically do one of these types of things. Not making sense? Follow along, you'll get it in a second. I have four pieces cut. All right, so we've just hinged two pieces together. All right guys, there's our two hinges put together, our little openers. My plan is to use these worm drive clamps to go around the hay feeder the tubular metal tops and attach, you know, maybe the, the bottom piece here of each one of these hinges to the feeder and then a piece of tin roof to the top. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's give it a try. What do you guys think? You think it's gonna work? No vote of confidence at all? Thanks a lot, chickens. What do you guys think? Millie, you think it's gonna work? What do you think? Maggie, how about you? You guys don't have much to say either. I'm not feeling too confident about this. Excuse you. That's not for, I'm sorry, you can't eat that. That's a clamp, Millie, come on. Yeah, I'm trying to make things better for you guys over here. Not the wood, Maggie, come on. No, not the, come on, you guys are killing me. So one side is on, it does kind of work. You guys getting the idea here? Let's get the other side on. All right, that's two sides on. You guys gotta cut some tin, please don't eat my wood. That means you, okay? I'm trusting you, all right? We good? All right. And you especially, you. Crazy, crazy eyed man. Don't eat my wood. Promise? Promise? I don't know, that looks shifty. I don't know, what do you guys think? All right, so we had a piece of leftover tin roof from our chicken coop build. And it's already, they come in the exact width that I need. So I've just got to mark 53 inches across and uh, cut it. And that should be exactly the size piece that I need. Of course, silly me, I don't know where my Sharpie is, which is what I need to mark this. And I don't think a pencil is going to work too well. so. This might get interesting. It actually left marks. I'm kind of surprised. As if you can't tell, this is my first time marking tin roof with a pencil. Okay, so here's what we got going on so far. Got a little makeshift lid for our hay feeder. Um, all I'm really doing right now, I have it set up already, but I'm just replacing these roofing screws. It's all I had laying around, so I use it temporarily, but they pull right out of the wood. So just replacing it with some uh, nice thick wood screws with washers to hold this in firmly. Millie, it looks like you swallowed a basketball, girl. Good Lord. All right, ladies, I think I'm done with your lid. I am out of screws because I had a brain fart and got eight instead of 16. So I'll leave these four in here. Same on the other side, but this will hold just fine for now until I go get eight more screws. But uh, let's check this out. I think, um, I think this will be totally functional. Oh yeah, I like it. That'll work. You guys, you gotta hang in there. We got like three days of rain coming, maybe four. All right. At least you'll have nice dry hay. No more wet hay, that's a good thing. All right, girls? All right. So taking my one leftover board, I cut it down to 35 inches each piece. Uh, put it together, I left a little bit of a gap in the middle just to make it wider and uh, just in case there's any expansion and contraction. And then I took um, some of this lattice and just cut it into seven inch pieces and uh, shot them down with some, with some nails, with some brads. And now I'm gonna stain this up the same color as the, uh, the trim on our coop. 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna use those stake pockets right there to my advantage to mount the um, the ramp for them. What I've done is just taken a simple board, stand it up like our trim, attach two little feet to it that are gonna fit in the stake pockets. And we'll slide this sucker in the hole. There we go. And then I have a ramp that you saw. I'll just mount that to uh, to this board. This way, whenever I move this, all I have to do is just pull this out of the stake pocket and she's ready to roll. It's just resting in place. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drill two pilot holes and screw it into that board. There we go, ramp complete. What do you guys think of the new ramp? Yeah, you're liking it, huh? Does it have your seal of approval? Morning guys, so it's the next day. It's been pouring rain for about 48 hours, so I'm out here checking on everything. Chickens seem okay. A little muddy, but they seem okay. The big question is the goats. How did that hay feeder hold up? Is the hay that's in there dry? So I'm gonna get these chickens fed and then we'll go check that out. And yes, breakfast is served. It's all muddy over there. Let's get you guys fed over here. Enjoy. We are ordering one of those electric poultry nets immediately because this is not working out so well. They fly out all the time and uh, it's just too small of an area for them. So we're about to go get them uh, an electric poultry net. Um, I guess Premier One is where everyone orders from. So I saw on another YouTube channel, somebody had a black one, which I would really like for this area. If any of you guys know where to get a black electric poultry net, leave it in the comments below where you've seen it um, so I can go check it out. I've seen only the white and black ones and the green ones. So where are all you guys living? Did you guys get a ton of rain the past couple days? Good morning, soggy girls. Millie, you're like a hood ornament. Doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look, it doesn't look too bad. The stuff that's on the edges here obviously got a little bit wet. So I think I'm gonna pull some of that out just so that it doesn't get moldy on them but uh for the most part stuff that's underneath this new hay is pretty dry so i think it worked out all right all right girls that's like three flakes for you so should last you a little bit so before i leave their pen i just noticed uh not to be gross to you guys but Maggie's got a little bit of discharge there. Now, they're still young. They've never been with a buck. So I'm assuming that she's going into a heat cycle. Uh, any of you guys that have more experience with goats want to chime in down in the comments and let me know what, um, what you think, if I'm correct, um, or if I'm way off base in my assumption, um, I'd appreciate it. I also noticed that she is flicking the tail slightly more than usual. And she's a bit more vocal than usual as well. So that's why I'm thinking she's in heat. Um, and I had read that sometimes there can be some discharge when they go into a heat cycle. First time goat owner, guys. I have no clue. All right, I'm off to go check the SD card and the game camera again. We noticed the past two days, this really huge monster buck that we've been looking at for quite some time has come back. So that's pretty exciting. He was coming around a month ago, or maybe a month or two ago. Um, and then hunting season really kicked into high gear around here. There's been... A lot of gunfire like crazy so and i hadn't seen him in a month so i figured either he just didn't make it or uh he just went and got skittish and went into hiding so uh but he's back i'll uh, i'll put a picture of him right here me and the kids uh nicknamed him the rock not that he's the hugest deer in the world per se but by my standards he's a pretty good sized deer and that rack is so nice looking and symmetrical and huge. He's real smart though. He only comes out around four or 5 a.m. when people aren't around. He didn't get that big by being stupid. Here we are at a camera. Look at the creek, guys. That's up a good four feet just from all the rain we had. Only 14 images overnight. That's a new time low. But in fairness, it was pouring. So we didn't see the rock on camera last night. I just looked at the footage. 
but we did see in the night before and that's good enough to give me hope so guys about a week or so ago um actually more than that we when we first put our our first deer in our freezer we had realized that it kind of took up the whole freezer so we had no space for anything else so i knew right off the bat we needed to get a second you know a chest freezer so i was scouring the internet for a while uh, for something used i don't know if you guys have been trying to buy new appliances right now but with the current health situation out there you can't get anything for months and months and months that wasn't going to cut it so i wound up finding this one um through a, a nice young lady uh she's having like an estate sale and this is a huge um 14 cubic foot freezer and you guys get an idea how big this is i mean that's that's the venison right there and i mean we still got a good five feet that way and all the space underneath this I mean, there's just a ton of room in this thing. That'll serve us really nicely. Anyway, I was looking around the other stuff that she has for sale there and her estate sale. And it turns out she has something that we really need very, very badly here on our homestead. I caught it out of the corner of my eye. It looked to be um, in pretty decent shape. She has uh, an ATV. Um, she also had a garden tractor, actually a lawn tractor, like a John Deere lawn tractor that I might ask her about. But she had an ATV, it's a Yamaha, uh, it's called the Bear Tracker. It's an older one, 2003, um, doesn't run. She said she couldn't get it to turn over. But I'm kind of handy with that stuff. Um, me and my son rebuilt a classic car. I used to work on cars uh, as a mechanic when I was a kid. So um, even though I don't know much about ATVs, I know we desperately need one here. Um, so I think I'm gonna take you guys along and that's going to become our next project is we're going to go pick this atv up tomorrow today's thursday we're going to pick it up on friday and we're going to begin the project of starting to get this thing running and see if we can get it working hopefully we can we can have a nice new working machine for our homestead here because like i said we need it really badly you know just just between bringing hay to our animals we're still carting water by hand which is a real pain um so if i can get like a little like a little dump cart or a trailer um that i can tow with the ATV, that would just be great. You know, I could, we could put our hay in there, we could put our water in there, our pellets in there, our chicken feed, go up our little mixer road that we got up here and uh, and hit all the animals in one stop and go, take deer corn out to the corn pile. Oh, it's gonna be a game changer for us. We really need one. So um, I'm kind of excited about it. Um, we'll go check that out tomorrow. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. Chicken ramp is working out good. The hay feeder seemed to work out good, but lit for it anyway. Um, and I think that that will, serve us well I, you know the edges of the hay got a little bit wet but that's okay guys leave me a lot of comments you know about atvs things i should be looking for things i should be looking out for things you should stay away from you know anything about that brand leave it in the comments let me know um i can use all the help i can get thank you guys for tagging along with me today um i look forward to having you back for the next video and please like comment and subscribe if you get a chance i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks and be well